we're back. We're looking really good. All the cables are in, controls, power. Um, everything is pretty much fully functional. Everything's routed back here. So what's left to do is to bolt the actual motor into the boat. So we were having a bit of an issue with that because we have to get underneath, excuse me, Phil. Underneath here, there's two bolts that have to get put in and it's very dirty um, and it's really tough to get to just by putting our arm through that. So we're gonna cut this out make a little bit of a latch so that we can see more in there and um, also gives us better access to a bilge pump or run a hose through the latch that we're gonna put in and it's gonna make my life a lot easier and I think it's gonna make the boat look a little bit better so I'll put, update you along the way for now like I said everything is pretty much set up and ready to go I got all the cables together in these nice little socks um, just make it look a little bit cleaner rather than having wires and whatnot floating all over the place Battery box is in. Like I said, everything is routed through the bottom, nice and neat. Brand new uh, wire gaskets. Yeah, motor's working really, our uh, boat's looking really good. Everything is set up and working. I got my main switch, horn. This is gonna be for the bilge pump. Main switches, controls are mounted, compass. And I was looking at a fish finder today. Shane and I are kinda, are gonna kinda weigh our options out and see what we can get. The most function for the least amount of money so on with the cutting and installation of this panel all right so we got it framed out to the measurements we need it and it's uh yeah so it's seven by eleven in here this is a quarter inch thick so we measured it from the inside and then a quarter inch on each side. Now we're gonna get to cutting. Bilge pump is gonna go right there, and then I'll probably put a little hole on the top of that to feed that cable through. Screw it on all day. Shutting it down for the night. Got a lot done today. I uh, actually took all the cables out again from underneath because it was a little bit tangled and I didn't want that. So everything is free moving. Um, I was able to actually mount the steering cable through that pipe that was in there so that helped Keep the heavy cable and the stiff cable out of the way so that none of the other wires would get stuck on it um, The throttle cable is more or less Comes from here. It all joins together there. Sorry. It's kind of dark and then the throttle cable is basically pushed up against this wall as far as I could get it and then it goes up into the controls and then like I said, I took the the actual control dongle and wire system uh, out as well. Rerouted that so if I need to pull it in and out for whatever reason, I can do that easily without stuff getting tangled. Kind of a little anal of me, but that's how I do things. So um, I think this was a great idea. Um, it's just gonna make it so much easier to put those bolts in. Uh, I can even store some stuff in there if I really wanted to, but it's it's bound to get wet so basically it's just uh main purpose was better access to the bilge pump and uh for certain better access to those bolts on the motor but everything else is looking pretty good i think i'm gonna get like a sealant paint for the deck 
because there are some cracks in it. So I'm just going to paint over it. It's going to be a white finish. It's going to be really nice. Seal all the cracks in the top and um, hopefully keep some of the water out. I have to bolt in all around this all the mounting screws so i went to the store today i got all new hardware um yeah so today was a good day i put new bolts for the switch panel rather than the screws that were in there that got rusted so it's got a nut and a bolt in there uh also mounted the the controls control box whatever you want to call it so also just probably three inch long two and a half inch long nut and bolt I relocated the main power switch. It was originally in here, but it was cut out for this shape, so it didn't look too clean, but I just put it there just to set everything up. But rerouted it here. All the lights and whatnot work, so I'm happy about that. Horn is in. I'll show you the inside, because I did clean up the cables, all the wires and whatnot, so I'll give you a detailed look at it, because I haven't done that yet last time I want to do this but I know it's not going to be and I mean getting down on underneath the shit so for starters took out the old boot replaced it with a new one like I said I rerouted all the cables so that nothing's tangled and whatnot so these are my controls and my throttle cables more controls this is going to be for um a tachometer that I eventually was gonna, I'm going to hook up. So everything's there. Main power, which is pretty much powering these lights and everything else. Any kind of accessories that I'm going to put on the boat. So get in here real quick. Uh, so here's that switch right here. So that cuts the power. This red cable here that goes down into there that's connected to the battery and there's also a negative cable that runs along with it that goes to this which is called a buzz bar or bus bar this is called a bus bar I've mistaken it by bus bar basically on a car you have points all over the car where it can give you a negative uh, connection a ground connection boats don't have that because it's all fiberglass so this does that so now all my switches and lights and anything that has electric has a positive feed in this case the positive feed is going directly to the switch panel all that so via this wire right here so that's always connected there so this is giving power to this switch panel and then any accessories that I have, such as this light, the positive will go to the switch that I choose. And then the negative will go back to the bus bar. Pretty simple. Um, shout out YouTube. So I have the bolts in, no nut, as you can see, or washer. So I just wanted to make sure it all fit. Looks good to me. No play, which is, I mean, it's a little bit of play, but once it's tied down, it won't be an issue. So underneath here in these corners, there's a little bit of room. So I'm gonna take it off, um, put some of this 3M adhesive on it to seal it up and uh, bolt it down and see how it goes. Good afternoon. Looking brand new, man. So cut the hole out. Uh-huh. And there's a little hatch there now. You can get in the back of it, put the, put the pump nice, nice. You say just uh, epoxy it, don't drill into it? 
I, I wouldn't drill into it because that's the outside. We're, the we're, bottom of the boat. That's the bottom of the boat, yes. Check that out. It's nice, huh? Beautiful. So I'm going to take this out. Now, how are you going to get that out? What? The hose. You got to cut a hole. Yeah, I might put a hole in this or put a hole here or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put a little yeah, gasket around fun. that. Bullshit. Motherfucker. You all right, Joe? I'm all right. How's your box? <laughs> How's your sister's ass? Right, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> So, we got a bunch of number 10 screws, washers, and nut. I'm gonna put the washer and nut on all these screws. All right, it's in had to uh, shave the inside a little bit because it did warp slightly from pulling these two in and the ones in the back because it's on an angle but it's in there so now we're gonna wait till it dries clean up some of the edges wipe it down get it all nice and white again and yeah it's done time to put the motor bolts in after a little frustration a little arguing it's in waiting for it to dry Underneath and right here, bolt motors are in. Got like Loctite on them, so they're not going anywhere. So really all that's left to do is put the bilge pump in. I have to cut a hole right there so I can feed the hose right out. Um, after that, I gotta snake all the wires through the bottom, which is always a pain in the ass, but you gotta do it. And then um, that's pretty much it. Ready to rock and roll. Long day of work, got a lot done. All right, so we got brand new hatch door thing in here. I'm um, probably gonna clean up the silicone ceiling a little bit, but it's in, it's straight. I think it looks pretty good. So the top comes off nice and tight. So right now I just drilled a hole for the bilge pump. I got that sealed up as well. It comes down here to this connection piece. I had to cut out a little bit of fiberglass. And now I'm going to mount the bilge pump down there after I clean everything out. And we'll be uh, we'll be looking really good at this point. So I will update you along the way. All right, we're wrapping it up for the day. But got a lot done. A lot done. Pretty much all there. To be honest, just the gotta do fuel and put the console in but got this little latch back here I'm happy with how it pops in like that all nice waiting on the bilge pump to uh, dry because I put some sealant uh, adhesive underneath it so I don't have to drill into the bottom of the boat but panels in we mounted this hose here so I put a little bit of sealant around that as well so that is uh Pretty much it, we're looking pretty good. Got the Rad TV sticker in there, of course. But the boat is coming together really well. All the power's working. Horn's in, controls are good. Everything is good. So, I'm happy with it. And uh, really that's all that's left to do is, like I said, get that fuel tank, get the fuel line in, paint the bottom, paint the floor wire the bilge pump to the switch and then get the console drilled in so see ya when we do that hammer <laughs>